yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from straight into this video getting a little bumpy here you know what i'm saying it's currently 6 38 in the morning your boy is just getting up as you guys saw that cold start um but today's video as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail i believe i fixed the oil leak issue um if you guys have been in the loop with all of the uploads then you guys would know that basically you know when I was doing the 20,000 mile oil change, I noticed that the oil pan was completely covered. Hey, that's that couple. <laughs> the oil pan was completely covered in oil. Um, it wasn't leaking from the drain plug. It seemed that actually one of my oil pan bolts was backing out, which is a common issue with these six gens. Um, you know, you can either deal with it by taking the car to the dealership and having them replace the entire oil pan, or you know you can tighten down the bolts yourself and see if it works now i would definitely say if you guys do tighten down the bolts yourself just be cautious bro because i ain't even gonna lie you know it's an aluminum block and if you go too tight you could mess around and snap the head off the boat so just keep that in mind yeah, man, I went ahead and did that, tightened down all the bolts that I could get access to. And, well, today, we're going to go ahead and get the car in the air and see if it fixed the issue. If it did, we're in the clear. If it didn't, Frank, I'm coming to see you, my boy. Now, by the time this video goes live, um, I am going to be going to the drag strip to see what Vader does in the quarter mile. So that video will be going live this following Monday. So if you guys haven't already, man, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications right now for the kid. Watch this video all the way through, man, and drop your guesses in the comment section down below, man. What do you guys think Vader is going to run in the quarter mile on its new setup? Honestly, man, if I had to guess, I'm thinking anywhere between 11.3 and 11.0. Uh, if we have good weather and I can launch the car right and we'll hook on the new drag pack I'm gonna say anything between 11.3 and 11.0 Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video man. Alright y'all, so this is the moment of truth right here As you guys know I had, ooh, yes sir, man. So basically, if you guys are new to the channel and don't know what I'm talking about, I had oil pan bolts, at least one that was backing out. It was this one right here, that oil pan bolt right there. I don't know how well it's gonna focus, but that joint was leak. It was backing out, so I had to tighten it up and it was causing a leak. Um, and basically my entire oil pan was covered in oil. Everything under here was covered in oil. So I went ahead and tightened it up in a previous video. And as you guys can see, we just got it in the air to make sure 
that it was dry. This is actually my second time raising the car up and the oil pan is still dry. So I think I fixed that issue. Um, I might not have to take it to the dealership, but I definitely wanted to just make sure that I didn't have any leaks under here um, because I am taking the car to the drag strip on Friday. So thankfully no leaks, um, you know, exhaust got a couple of scrapes, man. Sheesh, got a, got a few of them things really. And on the headers too. Okay, to focus, come on. Got a couple of scrapes on the exhaust headers and, and the piping itself. And we're about to switch all this up, man. I'm so stoked, y'all don't even understand. I do, <sighs> this needs to go, bro. This, this crease right here, we gotta get rid of this ASAP. Cause this, 30 pound suitcase is finally, finally, finally getting replaced. So I think I'ma just, I might have to get some three inch piping just connected to this right here. That way I can get rid of this stock piping, this bend, I don't understand it. But everything looks good under here, man. I'm about to go ahead and drop it back down. Um, yeah. Excuse how dirty the car is, y'all, but one one last warm start. It's gonna be the last of, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the very last ones, bro. So y'all go ahead and get ready. A lot of y'all that wanted me to go crazy. We're definitely going crazy. It's definitely gonna be way louder than that, for sure. I can tell y'all that right now. It's gonna be way louder than that. Yeah. I'm gonna get you guys a couple of revs, man, you know, cause like I said, we're not gonna have this exhaust for too much longer, bro. This setup finna change. It's about like 3K, man, you know, no pops or nothing like that. You feel me? Yet. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm so stoked to be working with this company on this exhaust setup, man. Y'all don't even understand the half, bro. I've actually been wanting to run their exhaust setup on this car for a minute now. Um, actually, even before I even got the six gen, I knew I wanted to run this setup. So I'm super stoked and I can't wait to get the exhaust in, man. So yeah, I'm hyped. 